There's no assuming to be done with Christian McCaffrey. The Vikings star, uh, or Vikings, Panthers star running back done for the year. And this one was strange. It was. Because w- w- what we saw was McCaffrey was banged up during the game on Sunday against the Dolphins. There was never an injury announcement made during the game about his status. He was spotted leaving the stadium in a walking boot. And the next thing you know, he's out for the year. It's over. It's done. Non-surgical ankle injury, but still, it's bad enough that we're not going to see him again over the final six weeks of the season or beyond, Chris. Yeah, I mean, it stinks for them. A team that, you know, again, is offensively challenged right now. And they need a guy, you know, they got a quarterback issue there where, yeah, I, I don't expect Cam Newton to just dice people up in the pass game. Absolutely not. Uh, they need Christian McCaffrey. They need him for the pass game because he delivers some great matchups and some easier throws to the quarterback. And, of course, what he does in the run game. And, you know, Carolina is even their defense hasn't played all that well lately. But, you know, again, this is the – we're going down the, the wormhole here of uh, – I mean, race, recently it's hit us in the face. Like, I don't know. You better think twice about paying running backs $15 million a year. You better think twice. I mean, we've seen Ezekiel Elliott not really work out, and he's banged up. Derrick Henry done for the year, or at least we think. Maybe back for the playoffs, maybe. Alvin Kamara, last few weeks, hasn't been able to play. You know, here's Dalvin Cook. He's out. Nick Chubb has been out a bunch this year. Aaron Jones has been out a little bit. I mean, damn, you go Saquon Barkley, been out a little bit. You go through the top 10 highest paid running backs in football, and they've all missed significant time or haven't lived up to the billing. And it's just one of those things right now. In that list, you just go, okay, Joe Mixon. He's kind of been a stud here lately, but gosh, other than that, this should be a, a list of, you know, be careful or buy or beware to teams with the running back position paying these guys this much money. But here's the problem, though. Yeah. It's not just paying the guy money on the second contract. It's making the guy a top 10 draft pick because the Christian McCaffrey contract was preordained. You're when right. they made him the eighth overall pick because he had three solid seasons. Yep. At that point, what what else are you going to do? That's right. That's when he gets his reward. They've set up this rookie wage scale so guys like Ryan Leaf and Jamarcus Russell don't take millions out of the system and never earn it. So you've got to earn it as you go. Once you've earned it, then you should get it. And that's exactly what the Panthers did. McCaffrey had three solid seasons. He became only the third running back in NFL history, have 1,000 yards rushing and 1,000 yards receiving, joining Marshall Falk and Roger Craig. And they paid him $16 million a year. And he had never been injured. He was fine. And, but it's the nature of the position. These guys aren't injury prone. The position is prone to injuring that's players. Right. That's right. And, and so I, I'm a believer in not paying big money to a running back. But the problem is, if you make him a first-round pick, a high first-round pick, you've already signed that check. And the only reason the Giants haven't done it with Saquon Barkley is because he's been injured throughout his right. career. They already would have given him a second contract if he would have lived up to what they thought he was going to be when they made him the second overall pick. So yeah. I guess the message is don't use a first-round pick on a running back, except like at the very end of the round because you can then get him for five years under the CBA. But But even then, I would – I would think twice about it. And the other side of it, too, is, Chris, you don't want to make that running back into the guy who is the magnet for attention and fame, and everybody has his jersey, and the fans want him because, ultimately, it's a business decision. We can't let this guy go. He's too important to the team. He's, he's you know, everybody loves him. They're, go- they're going to be mad at us. Even if we think this guy that we could draft in round four is going to be every bit as good, they're attached to this guy emotionally. We can't get rid of him. That's why you see running backs get the biggest money from their own team. When these guys become free agents, no. New team isn't going to be impressed. Current team is the one that's going to pay them. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. And I listen, I th- you made a lot of good points there. You really did. I mean, you, you know, you bring up you look at that list there too. I mean, Saquon Barkley is a top ten highest paid running back just because of the draft position. He was the number two pick in the draft. But you're right. It's it's. Uh, I think you said it right. End of the first round makes sense. I think the other thing that pops out to me too, to where like this is where great teams don't do this. You know, you can't make one of the strengths of your team about one guy, right? Like that's that's where I, you know you look at New England, the positions that are important to them and Bill Belichick and how he he's always got a plethora of guys at that position. Oh, running backs. Okay, yeah, they want to use power game passing out of the backfield. They got five of them. They can just, you know, put them in. Great. 
You know, we know like, you know, DBs and safeties. They got 75 freaking DBs and safeties on that football team. Just, oh, this week it's big receivers. We're going to put the DBs in and the bigger DBs in. And this say like, so, you know, the, the problem with paying these guys is there's no, you know, protection a little bit for, wait, we're a running team and we're going to ride this guy. And if that guy gets hurt, you go, well, wait, now we're not the same team. And that, to me, is where the fine line has to be met a little bit or teams are going to have to figure out how to, you know, deal with this issue a little going forward because, you know, we, we look at the Saints, they fall off. Alvin Kamara gets hurt. Christian McCaffrey gets hurt. They fall off. You know, we've seen, yeah, the you know, Dalvin Cook and, and his injuries in the past hurt the Vikings. They got a great backup that saves them. Nick Chubb, though, when he was out, man, they struggled on the offensive side of the ball. So, uh, it'll be interesting going forward to see if teams make the type of adjustments you talked about um, and, and don't let some of those things happen. And and the, the, the other reality is the teams that use multiple running backs avoid ever having to put all the financial aid. That's in right. One That's exactly. And like the Patriots. Well, they, when do the Patriots ever pay a running back? They don't need to. And they no. never create that guy right. that – Every fan wants to have his jersey. Every game, he's going to get his touchdown. Every game, you know, he becomes the fantasy football star. There's so many political reasons that go into paying a guy. The Patriots avoid that because they never develop the one guy no. into the 100 yard per game running back. No, you're right, and I mean they're they're frustrating right now because, like, I yell at the TV screen the last few weeks because Ramondre Stevenson is their best, maybe their best player on the offensive side of the ball, but. Maybe they're doing what you're talking about. Yeah, they're keeping guys fresh by spreading the ball around and doing that. But at the same time, maybe they don't want to build up, yeah, some superstar running back to where, yeah, it's year three, and now he holds out, and he wants big money, and there's an issue with the team. Maybe that's what it is. But I yelled at the TV last week a few times going, where the hell is Ramondre Stevenson? Like, I like Damian Harris. He runs hard. He ain't Ramondre Stevenson. Ramondre Stevenson gets in one of the first runs of the game, breaks somebody's ankle, spins off a guy, then runs for 15 yards. And I'm like, where the hell is he? But I think there's the logic there in New England to what you're talking about. They're not going to let that happen at that position. Yeah, if anybody's going to be that guy, it's going to be the quarterback, the guy that that is less likely to get injured. That's right. The guy who's going to be there a lot That's longer. Right. Yeah. And the guy that they hope when it's time to sign him to a new contract, he doesn't demand full market value, but that's a few years off for the New England Patriots. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.